on Allen Sports. Let's see what Shannon Sharp has to say. Now, at this point, I don't understand why Shannon Sharpton, and that's what I call him now, Shannon Sharpton. I don't understand why he doesn't just quit this and just try to be some kind of political activist or social activist or whatever, because that really is all I ever see or hear out of his mouth. Every single take he has, every single take is racial or politically motivated. I can always anticipate what he's gonna say. I can always, always anticipate what he's gonna pick, how his answer is gonna be. It is like clockwork. And you know what's so bad about Shannon Sharpton? Is that if you even challenge him on Twitter at all, he blocks you, okay? Total pansy ass, complete Pansy ass. Hold up, time out. Why are you showing why are you showing B-roll of a guy playing quarterback that's a tight end? Mm. <laughs> where, where to play it? No, 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 no. I need to mm. see some plays of him catching the pass. Oh, I saw I him running there. No, 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 no. How much slot receiver and punt return and defensive back tape do you think Bill Belichick had on Julian Edelman? Dude, I just completely destroyed your point. Moving on. See, Skip, let's not make this more like here's a guy that was very deserving of an opportunity. Do you know if if I could just like open my inbox and show people how many guys that have played college ball that asked me, Shannon, do you know how can I get a how can I get a try? How can I get a walk on? I was a this, I was a that. Do you know anybody? Mm. I got nothing. Mm. I got nothing. Do you know how many go to university who get degrees, who get $150,000 in debt at university to go into sports journalism, to be sitting exactly where Shannon Sharp is sitting right now? Why did Shannon Sharp get this job? Because Fox Sports wanted to create a new show with Skip Bayless. Why go after Shannon Sharp? They thought, okay, a former player, the juxtaposition against Skip Bayless would be interesting. Did Shannon deserve this position? Did he deserve it? I don't know. I mean, others could argue that people who went to college, no, no, no. Shannon was given the job because he was known as a very outgoing personality when he was a player. Everyone knows that. But what does him as a player have anything to do with this job? How many young people right now are holding degrees that they can't do anything with, so they move back in their parents' basement because they wanted to be sitting where Shannon Sharp is sitting right now. How many years did Skip Bayless have to go into locker rooms to get experience interviewing players? How many papers did he work for? Shannon, are you gonna step aside? Are you gonna give up your job? Because my inbox is full of people I know who would love your job, who would love your job because you're not a journalist or you weren't even a TV personality when you got your job on CBS. That was given to you because you are Shannon Sharp. Would I have hired you back then if I was CBS Sports like they hired you? Oh yeah, I would have. I thought you were hilarious. You were funny. But you got that interview because you're Shannon Sharp. Uh-oh. He's taking somebody's job. Oh my God. Maybe this has something to do with the tight end position. Maybe it has something to do with Shannon being a little threatened that if Tim Tebow somehow does well at tight end, it's going to lessen the value of the position. Well, Shannon, I don't know that you think that, but if you do, that's absolutely ridiculous because if Tim Tebow were to be a designated tight end, which I don't even think that is going to happen, that he'll be a full-time starting tight end. I just don't see that. But if he were, that would mean nothing about, nothing negative or positive about the tight end position or your position in the Hall of Fame. It would be just a massive, great th story for Tim. <laughs> but it has nothing to do with your position. Doesn't mean that your position isn't hard to play. Just means that Tebow was able to take a difficult position and actually do something with it. 
And that's if he even does. We don't even know if he's going to make the team yet. Tim Tebow is addicted to fame. Tim Tebow cannot let it go. That's what this is. He's the same guy that he was in Denver. Mm. He loves the attention. He craves the fame. He craves the limelight. And here we are again. Mm. What the hell? What do you call what you do, Shannon? Dude, you're on Twitter every fucking day talking shit. And might I add, you talk about things that are outside, way outside of, of your, your ability and depth. Dude, you, you talk about certain issues that you have no idea what you're talking about, which is what got me in trouble with you in the past. Because I told you that you need to check yourself. You need to, okay, don't dive into politics. You don't know what you're talking about. It's way more complex than you will ever know. Don't even try it, okay? But you go for the attention all the time. You're always trying to put yourself out there. You wear the flashy suits. You're always trying to be Mr. Big Shot, Okay. You're always seen in L.A., everywhere, all of the time. You're always talking about the friends you've got and all the, the elbows you rub against, right? Shannon Sharp, ladies and gentlemen, just said that accused someone else of being addicted to fame. <laughs> wow. And if this was a real debate show and not a fake little setup crap garbage show, Skip Bayless would call him out on this bullshit. But he won't. He needs to face the fact. Mm. At some point in time, he's going to run out of coaches that give him an opportunity to be a head coach and can give him an opportunity. Mm. You okay. You lived out your dream. You played quarterback. This is the guy who at his Hall of Fame speech was crying like, oh my God, you know, nobody believed in me. Uh, I'm so late draft pick. Nobody wanted me and I worked myself and I worked my way up and it, it's, you never give up and all this blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. But he's saying Tim Tebow should just say, fuck it. I don't fuck my dream. I'm 33. I don't want to piss off guys like Shannon Sharpton. I don't want to be accused of white privilege and nepotism and all this other crap. So I'll just take my ball and go home and I'm just going to quit and give up. Fuck this. Really? What if, what if you had that attitude, Shannon? What a hypocrite. Dude, right now, Right now, if a team, if I had a connection and I, I got a, a, a workout with a team, I would take that shit. I know I wouldn't even make the team, but if they give it to me, I'd do it. Which one of you guys out there wouldn't do it? So Tim Tebow's just supposed to say, uh, no, I don't want it because I'm afraid that guys like Shannon Sharpton might be pissed off. Really? This is the biggest bullshit I've ever heard. Mark Sanchez. A little, another little mm -hmm. known fact. Can you, if you don't mind me asking, can you tell me the agent who's Rex Ryan agent? Him who's Tim Tebow's agent. What does that matter? Oh, okay. Since we, since we well, little well, known well, fact. What does Jimmy, that mean? Well, well, apply it to what we're talking you about. You know it, it means what? For real? For real? Okay. You're wondering why two guys connected because they had the same agent. Okay. Either Shannon Sharp is just so angry and, and this is so personal to him that he's not thinking clearly, or he thinks all of you are freaking idiots. But I'm going to tell you something. That is how the NFL is done. That is how all sports are done. Agents team up their clients all of the time. Here's something you guys might not realize, a little, little known fact. Sean Payton had the same agent as Tom Brady. So when Tom Brady was getting drafted, it was Sean Payton who gave him a call and told him what to expect and how to handle things and all that. Hmm. Oh my God. Why would an agent do that? That's appalling. Just never heard of it before, but that is just crazy. This is embarrassing, Shannon. Wait, are, are we talking about the same Tim Tebow who took your Denver Broncos at one and four to a division championship and beat Ben Roethlisberger by throwing for 316 yards in a playoff game? Are we talking about that guy that who guy. can't play? Uh, okay, so so here, here Skip goes off and does his whole, he does this thing with Te Tebow that he does with Brady. I can't stand it. When Tim Tebow did that with the Denver Broncos, that was one of the most bizarre things I'd ever seen. It was 2011. I couldn't figure out why Denver kept winning. That was a 
garbage ass team. A I mean, they were terrible. It's just they kept squeaking out these victories and it was just it just seemed like witchcraft, okay? But why did it work? Because they believed in this dude. It doesn't matter if you believe. It doesn't matter. All that matters, and this is with anything, the players believed it. The locker room believed it. Apparently, according to Shannon Sharp, there's there's some kind of, you know, group therapy happening every year where there's just all these amazing tight ends, the best tight ends that we've ever seen in our lives in this little group somewhere, and they're not getting a shot. Yeah, well, uh, how come they weren't on teams last year? Because I sure didn't see them. Where are they? Where are they? Okay, and, and, and furthermore, if Tim Tebow is so bad, and if he's going to suck so bad at it, then how good are they if they can't beat him out? Someone's going to have to beat him out, right? Whatever, man. Thank you so much for watching Von Allen Sports. And don't forget our live show every Saturday at all new on YouTube. We hope you like and share the video. And to make sure you don't miss a thing, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified. Von Allen Sports. Forever and ever.